Well, Kamala Harris, she's the California senator we were all supposed to think was going to be the next president. Oh, absolutely. She's perfect. She doesn't have any children of her own, but she's got big plans for your children. Harris has proposed a bill that would extend school hours nationally to 6 p.m. Now, the idea is to align the school day with the work day, and that, of course, would make it easier, and this is the key, for parents to serve shareholders by staying late at the office. So while you're plugging numbers into Excel spreadsheets in some soulless glass office building in preparation for the next quarterly report, the state will raise your children. Big business loves that idea. Why wouldn't they? And Kamala Harris is happy to be their representative. But should you like that idea? Rebecca Friedrich spent 28 years as a teacher in California. She's the author of the great book, Standing Up to Goliath, and she joins us tonight. Rebecca, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Should we like this idea, keeping your kids at school till six? Absolutely not. As a 28-year career teacher and a mother, I would say run fast, run away from this. This is being pushed by the teachers' unions, who, by the way, aren't really teachers and aren't really unions. They are radical socialists who are pushing an agenda into our schools off the backs of loving teachers. This is a frightening agenda, and it's dangerous for our kids and our country. So t uh, unpack that a little bit. I'm absolutely willing to believe you. And again, I'm, I'm suspicious this is being pushed by someone who doesn't have children, who has a long track record of acting on behalf of incredibly creepy multinational corporations. But tell us why we should be worried about it. Well, we should look to the past. So let's just take the free lunch program that we have in our schools. It uh -huh. started out being pushed by the unions and their friends for poor children. Well, 28 years ago, I had two students in my class on free lunch. Today, almost every single child is on free breakfast and free lunch. So what the unions are trying to do, they're pushing something called community schools. And in these community schools, we're giving children free health care. We're giving them free food, uh, free emotional support, and by the way, free political indoctrination for their parents. Yes. And so if these unions and their friends, their poli politicians get their way, they would like our schools to be open 24-7. They want to replace the family and families raising their children with our own virtues. They want to replace that with the state, with union-controlled, government-run schools. That's dangerous. That's communism when you think about it. Do, I mean, wouldn't it just be easier to make it possible for families to raise kids on one income? So maybe parents could raise their own kids if they wanted. A lot of parents say they want that. Why wouldn't politicians yeah. work toward that? Wouldn't that be beautiful? That's what's right for all little children. All the little kids I taught over the years, they wanted to be with their mommies so badly all day long. And that would be beautiful. But these politicians, you know, that just proves they're not uh, looking out for the best interests of children or families or teachers like myself. They're looking out for themselves, for power. And uh, they really want to undermine our republic. And they're doing that through our schools, uh, starting as young as preschool and uh, pushing all the way up into the universities. We need to be very concerned about uh, this and politicians like Kamala Harris who would push this sort of idea onto our families. So helping families raise their own children doesn't make Kamala Harris more powerful, so she's against it. Thank you for summing that. Rebecca, it's great to see you tonight and appreciate your take on that after Thank 28 you. years in the schools.